everybody. Welcome to a special edition of Milwaukee Beer Review. As always, I'm Josh. I'm Ross. And this is going to be, I think, a new casual-ish series. Uh, we want these to be kind of sub-eight-minute, quick quick hitter videos. Um, and we're calling this Hop Takes, something just kind of um, an interesting little tweak beers that, you know, we don't want to do a full-blown um, episode four, we just kind of want to do some quick stuff and we've got the ability to do this stuff remotely. So why the heck wouldn't we and get some more content here out on the channel? So, um, Ross and I said, Hey, you know, uh, we just finished watching the Packers and Jordan love, you know, kind of fumble on himself a little bit this afternoon, but that's okay. That's okay. First round by, um, let's dive into a beer. So, um, what the heck are we drinking Ross? So we are drinking from Three Sheeps, a part of their Wolf series. And this is, um, they released a four pack with different coffee variants involved in each one. So this one actually comes from Venture Brewing Company, which is a coffee house slash brewing company out in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Um, and this has, oh, I'm not gonna say this word correctly. Uh, Guatemala, Josh is just gonna post it right here. And you guys yeah. can read this <laughs> I've, I've I can't no idea how to say that. I can't even read it. It's actually really hard to read it on the can without the proper like, lighting, which I do not have. Tenego, Hugh Hugh Tenego Wakan? Sure. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, so this is a, uh Imperial Stout that's aged in bourbon barrels, and I don't have an ABV on this. I forgot to look. Bottom. On the bottom. Uh, oh, 12 point, 12 12 6. 6. All right. Good deal. When was yours, when was yours brewed? 6, 12, 21. Mine says 8. I think that might be an 8. It's kind of hard to read the stamp on the bottom, though. It could be an 8. Either 8 or 6. I don't yeah. know. One one of the two. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I've not tried any of the coffee variants Same of here. Wolf. I'm a pretty big fan of Wolf, so let's crack this thing open. Bourbon Barrel Age Stout with Venture Coffee. I mean, you're real surprised in the pour, I think, pretty much what you expect. Yeah, nice uh, kind of mocha colored head on that. Yeah. Nice and Decent dark. Decent looking beer. Nice and dark. Yep. Looking at it in the light. Not much coming through that. That's pretty pitch dark. Oh. To the nose? To the nose. Oof. Oh, wow. That is a lot of coffee. That is heavy coffee, which I would yeah. expect with a coffee variant. But... There's definitely some solid like bourbon barrel aged stout, like imperial stout sweetness going on behind the coffee too. Like it's not all coffee. Coffee's the heavy note though, for sure. I know, I'm getting I'm getting all coffee. That's all I'm getting on the nose. Yeah. I mean it's heavy. It's heavy coffee. Yeah. So well, let's try this thing. We've been waiting to do it for a little bit. So yeah. cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah, that's smooth. Ooh. So really smooth. I mean, it's definitely coffee for. I mean, I'm not saying anything that's shocking with that. Um, mm -hmm. But the coffee on the nose is kind of so it was strong. I was expecting this to be a little harsh, a little bitter. Yeah, it's super smooth. Um, it's almost got like a chocolatey. I think the bourbon's kind of giving it a nice little chocolatey, like a vanilla -y, uh, finish to it. The base wolf is really, really solid by itself. So it's definitely like up there for me as far as bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts. <laughs> Have not had one with coffee that I'm aware of in the past. Um, I think even like the ones we've reviewed on the channel previously did not have coffee. Um, plays real nice yeah. in this beer. Um, definitely you get coffee's there all the way through front end up front all the way through the back end of the beer but it's a really nice coffee flavor like it's not like super bitter it blends in really really well with the imperial stout sweetness on this to your point is it's almost like a creamy coffee yeah note to this beer it's not just heavy heavy coffee bitterness and it's quality coffee like We've yeah. tried beers on this channel where the coffee quality was obviously subpar. That's not this beer. Um, it's really, really good. Yeah, I know. This is tasty. Um, it's one of the better coffee stouts I've had in a long time, actually, if I'm yeah. being honest. Um, you know, if I'm looking to put this one on untapped, 
I'm gonna put it about four and a quarter. I I I I'd like to give it more, but I think that's a good score for this one. I, I'm, I'm struggling to disagree with you there. I, I was thinking about four and a quarter was about the right score. Um, we have a similar palette on this, and I think we both appreciate good coffee too. So yeah. you can't go wrong with this beer. This actually came out of a four pack they released where they've actually got their, their base wolf um, aged it with four different types of coffee. Mm -hmm. So this is the first one. Maybe we'll do a few more hop take episodes uh, with the other ones from this four pack yeah. as well. But the Venture Brewing Company one, um, really, really good stuff here. Uh, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's nice tasty. Beer. I really like this one. So Cool. Well, that's all we got for you today, folks. We just wanted to kind of do a quick hitter here. Uh, hopefully, we'll be doing quite a few more of these as we continue forward, a way to get some more stuff and more content on the channel and keep clearing out the sellers that are growing faster than uh, we can eliminate beers from them. So. Um, we hope to see you again in a future episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.